Hey, Abiding Presence. This weekend is Pentecost, and we're going to be talking about fire and wind and spirit, which are all the same word. Um, God breathes life into humanity. Jesus breathes the Holy Spirit onto the disciples, and then the Holy Spirit comes to the disciples on that day of Pentecost. Uh, and it's a violent wind, and it's tongues of fire, um, and then they start speaking different languages, and all these people that are gathered together understand what they're saying. It's an amazing thing that happens on that day. Um, it's kind of interesting to be talking about breath, about the breath of God or Jesus' breath, especially whenever we're having to wear face masks, and that right now our very breath is, can be harmful. So I invite you to think maybe about the different ways that we could share our faith with each other behind face masks. Um, are you a phone caregiver? I invite you to contact us if you're not. We'd love to have you getting in touch with others. Um, if you are a phone caregiver, thank you so much for all the ministry that you're doing. Um, another way that you could offer up a piece of support without seeing other people or being behind a face mask on this Pentecost is to share a video with us, a 10 to 15 second video, so we can compile those together to share how Abiding Presence um, has touched you or changed you or what this place of grace means to you. You can send that to my email address, stevec at aplc.org. I also invite you to maybe uh, share these worship experiences that we have every single weekend with your friends. Who knows what language they might speak? Who knows what culture they might come from? Who knows where they might even live? But the gospel message, the good news of the resurrection of Jesus Christ is spread throughout everywhere. And the Holy Spirit empowers us to do that. Sometimes we do that with our very breath, but most times we're doing that with our minds, with our hearts, and with our actions. So I invite you to take action today, and let's live into our Pentecost. Amen.